So I used mid journey to generate this good dude. Uh, built it in Blender, rigged it with a uh, armature. So imported it to Unity, making sure that all the joints are working as they expected to. And let's see if we can turn him into a playable character. As I mentioned in my previous video, I want to have some kind of funny, silly looking guy. Uh, I didn't expect the final result, so stay tuned for the for the final result. I think it's uh, yeah uh, over expectations. So uh, enjoy me trying to figure out how to make a silly game character. Well, that didn't turn out too good. I forgot to add colliders to him. So now I'm trying to align all the box colliders. For all the joints and bones. <laughs> this one was really wide. It was like a kilometer wide or something. So now I'm adding colliders to all existing bones, to the head and the legs and the arms eventually. So when he fall, he will not fall through the floor we will hopefully stay above it but let's see yep at least he stayed on top <clears throat> uh, didn't go as expected but maybe this time nope So now I added some strength between all the limbs, uh, apparently not strong enough. Now I added some flexibility, some spring dampening, dampening between all the joints. How you doing buddy? Finding some grooves. I'm not sure what he's doing now. It feels like he's trying to tie tie himself into a knot. Now it's starting to look like at least something playable. I was maybe too fast to say that. Um, yep. Not really sure what he's doing. It's uh, uh, at least it, I think he's listening to music or something. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's still understanding still because his hip joints are uh, locked in space. So let's see. Now I removed that lock. Let's see how he behaves. Uh, for some reason, he wants to jump away. Uh, don't get close to the edge. No. Well, the good thing is that we have another one. So this one is a bit calmer, uh, not so springy like. Hopefully he will not jump away. Starting to look like a a dude that could be part of the game actually. Maybe has maybe needs some bit more force to be standing up. So I tried some uh, physics. 
you have to be nice with him, not push him too far. Uh, okay, sorry. Sometimes you get carried away. Some balancing test? Could be a new game, maybe? Or not? Whoops. At least it didn't fall off. <laughs> Whoops! So, uh, what you need to do uh, next step is to add an animation in a clone and then use the offset between all the limbs and apply that offset to the different limbs on your springy dude. So that's why I created a clone here. This clone will be animated. So I'm testing out all the... <laughs> That looks so silly. Uh, I'll try testing all the bone structures and so on. Yeah. <laughs> so they can be animated using animation from Mixamo. So we have one one animated dude and one springy dude. So we have when we have the animated dude, he's uh, supposed to just stand still in the in in space. So we're writing a script, a small one to to use the <coughs> the joint and the target uh, in it rotation that we that that should be applied to the springy dude, and also the the first sterilized feel is the the bone that we should copy. So we're taking the the local rotation of the of the original bone, uh, and as you can see, it works like a charm. No issues here. I got some <laughs> rotation, uh, and yeah, uh, what previously looked like a dude that could be playable uh, looks now like a, something that should be locked up. Now I'm changing the animation speed, trying to find a speed that's suitable for the springy dude. And he still wanna walk off the edge. Uh, now I've impl implemented uh, to adding force to the hips uh, based on input from the gamepad. So I'm using a gamepad to to push him around to make him more playable. So. Uh, I think it's ready for the menu. So let's get back to the menu and <clears throat> add him, see if he can behave. This is the first time <clears throat> actually testing the player in us in the scene. And uh, yeah, at least the ground works. And he's playable. Look at that dude. Swinging his hands, trying to get inside, but he can't. Because he can't open doors. So um, let's see if we can add uh, a user by when clicking on a controller. So I added one user, and uh, for some reason there's there's one extra. Um, yeah, so two of them are controlled by the same controller, and one is <laughs> well, I don't know what they are doing. <clears throat> so uh, that will be all for this this episode. Uh, not sure what's what's next, but uh, let's take a look at the Trello board. So menu environment are more or less done. Uh, Players should be able to control the character. Well, it's almost done. So 
1 to 8 players should be able to join and leave. Well, uh, for now, uh, they can join. So I guess I focus on joining, leaving, and also control the player a bit better. But that's in next episode. See you then. Thank you for tuning in.